Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing Native American um, paper mache mask, and you have one class period to get this done. That's it. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this rather quickly because next class, the other students who are unable to use this mask or mold as a cl to collage on will be using this in the following class. So you're gonna take this paper mache paste and it's gonna feel weird, but you know what? It's gonna be all right. You'll get to wash your hands at the end. So you're gonna take a little bit and you just want a nice thin layer and you're gonna kind of smooth it out so it's nice and thin and you're going to apply it a nice thin coat. Okay, I don't want to see any bumps, so try to smooth those out because it does like to clump. All right, so smooth it out on the head and get a nice layer of that paste. You're then going to take some paper and you're going to use the same color throughout and you're going to tear a piece, place it so that it forms on the head, and then go back on top again with some of that paste and smooth it out with your hands, all right? So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm going to build up with that, okay? Now sometimes it's hard, like if you have the nose, it's hard to form around that. So I like to just cut a piece that is gonna fit in there really nice, not too big, about this size. And I form a piece that's gonna go around it. So you really have to think about where you are on the face, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of curves that you're gonna to have to work with. So depending on that curve, you're gonna to have to decide what size paper you need to tear. So as you can see, I'm working around this nose piece by piece, and I didn't just clump a big piece on at once, all right? And I'm smoothing it with my thumbs. I'm really pressing hard on that and smoothing it across because I don't want any wrinkles. Um, and I'm going to have to do two layers on this entire thing. So I'm gonna start with my first layer. And another trick too, as you're putting this on, is you can add a little bit of the paste to the paper too, to help. And right when you get in those lips, as you can see, I'm taking my thumb and I'm making sure to really press so I get all the details of the face. Sometimes if it's not sticking, you have to add a little bit more paper. And in areas that you have a lot to do, you can use a larger strip of paper. See, like right around the neck, it kind of just wraps around. So I'm just gonna use a larger strip of paper for that. So you also want to make sure that you're getting your paper to go off the edge if you can. So that when we go to cut these off, none of the um, areas around the edge of the mask rip. You want to make sure you pick it up and you look around and you check all the spots. So right here on the head, if I didn't check, I would have missed. So I'm gonna go in. So again, with this nose, it's a little tough. I'm starting to do a second layer. And I really don't wanna take a big piece and flatten it on there, because I'm gonna get all these wrinkles. So I'm just taking little pieces at a time, and I'm working my way around that nose. That nose is gonna be your toughest point. And I'm making sure I'm pushing really hard on my fingers to mold around that. That's gonna give me the imprint on my nose, my eyes, and then especially my lips. You wanna push in that center. All right, so one of the things I forgot to mention is we have to attach our names to this. So before you begin collaging, you're gonna take a roll of tape, flip this over, okay? And you're going to put some tape in here. And you're going to write your name on the tape. Okay, full name. Now, maybe do it a little bit better than I did for my name. You could also take the tape and write your name on it first and then put it inside the mask. So that way you know when we go to grab this, where yours is, okay? And next time um, we will take these apart, they're going to dry and they'll be able to slide right off of this.